I am scouting new talent. I'm looking for uh, a girl that is 12, someone short, petite, extraordinary legs and feet, the ability to work both sides, and uh, somebody that does all genres. Abby's threatened us in the past just to kind of light a fire and get things going, but this time it sounds like she's looking for someone permanent, and I'm afraid that's a replacement for Chloe. You're good. Okay. You're beautiful. Stop it. I know my daughter, and she doesn't cry over nothing. You know, after Abby gave that checklist of what she's looking for in a dancer, and it's not Peyton, it made her feel very uncomfortable, and she feels unsupported on this team. Brooks in the best outfit. Peyton, hey, didn't you tell me you had that bra top at home? Are you ladies worried about her replacing your kids? Because I'm a little nervous. Oh, you know what? I'm sick and tired of it. Shut up. You know what? Your kid is 16 years old, You're right. and I put her on this team this weekend because we're doing a dance that she looks great doing. She's in the middle, and you're still bitching about stuff. I need dancers that I can count on. I thought I had Brooke, but she proved me wrong. So I bring in Peyton, but she's having a meltdown and boo-hooing over her hairstyle. Really, Peyton? You're the oldest, most advanced person in this group. This is your job. You don't want to be here? I have four kids standing in the hall right now that I looked at on stage earlier today that could take any one of your places. Peyton, you can't even look at me. You're looking everywhere else. Stop acting like a baby, you're 16 years old, and everybody's watching you cry. Save your tears for the pillow. You have an opportunity here. Don't blow it, kiddo. Mackenzie, see what it looks like when you cry like a baby? There's some amazing talent at this competition. And I have my eye on a few kids. My girls better get their act together because they're all replaceable. This is a preteen jazz group. Please put your hands together for Girls Night Out. Routine was a mess, especially Brooke. She makes so many mistakes. I think she ought to stick to the singing thing. Let's hope the judges didn't notice. In third place in our preteen group division. Girls, night out. I haven't groomed these girls since they were babies to get third place. I had two routines win and two routines lose. 50%, that's an F. To me, that's failing, and this team failed. So, starting out the season with a big bang and a big win. What happens when you get there and everybody's good? You have to be better. 
summer. You can't take a vacation. I you can't it. take time off. It doesn't help. It hurts. Brooke didn't want to learn that dance. She could have known it. She missed a whole step. She specifically came there before she went to her concert to learn the dance. Her performance skills are weak. Well, you know what? She had a better opportunity, and she took it. We all know she has that opportunity because of me, and the performance skills there suck, too. I don't care what you think of her performance skills, Abby. I really don't. Whenever she dances with you, you, do, you put all your eggs in one basket. Your kid was the basket. Your child was the one I yeah, put all my eggs with in you. She years got nowhere with you. and years ago. And where did it get broke? Nowhere. Because she had a mother that was a bitch. Here comes the kid. Oh, you guys look cute. You did so good in that group dance, girl. Good job on the trio, girls. I don't usually announce where you're going until Pyramid. But next week, we're going to Ohio. And you all know who's in Ohio. So being third overall high score has me a little bit worried, a lot worried, about next week. You're welcome. You don't need to thank me. Just win. Hey, girls. How we doing? Chloe, what's with the hair? You. I told her four times. You told her four times to get it up? Push-ups. Go. 25. Can't listen to your teacher? Every dance studio has rules. Chloe broke the rules. Rules are for safety. Safety for the dancer, safety for those around her. Two, straighten your bottom knee. Every dancer knows you come with your hair up to class. You're not going to start tanning again with your hair still down. For real? Leave the room, get the hair up, and don't come back until it's up. Why she was crying, I don't know. Kids should cry when their arm is broken and it's hanging off or somebody died. That's it. We're working on turns. It's taking you 20 minutes to get your hair up. A Broadway talent scout is coming here tomorrow. I don't have time to be nice and sweet. We are turning these girls into athletes, not pageant queens. Five, low arabesque turn, six. Let's go, come on in. So we're gonna have the girls are gonna perform one at a time. Each member of a group should be able to do that group routine choreography like a soloist. When they do it one at a time by themselves, it gives us the opportunity to see who's using the wrong arms on a turn or who's turning one more time than everybody else. Are we ready to go? Let's spin the wheel. Let's be the sluts. Let's bet it all on Kendall's what on. we've got. Oh, let's sit no Come on, tighten up. The best advice. Let's take a chance. Let's I wish Ricky broke. could teach the group rehearsal because he gives Let's you nice not critiques, not yeah. screaming Let's at you. Face, 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 come on. Baby, let's roll the dice. Gotta get higher in the air. And if we lose, well, we won't grumble. Baby, let's roll the dice. Baby, let's roll the dice. Hey, you're up. routine by themselves. She should know this dance just as well as everybody else. I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to get your act together. You are 12 years old. You are way too old to be forgetting. Paige, I think you're having, like, anxiety, and she gets you so nervous that you can't function. <laughs> like, this is not right over dance class. If Abby didn't have a lot of connections to get these kids ahead, I would have left a long time ago. We have to get out of here. <laughs>
We have to get out of here. <laughs> but I really can't hear. I just don't like Abby. <laughs> Paige is so afraid of Abby right now. It's killing me inside. Like, I, I just don't know what to do. It's OK. All right. Remember, this is the first competition back. This is it. Don't make me regret coming home. So, ladies, we have three solos. Mackenzie, you're the first solo up. Then Chloe, you're second. Then Maddie, you're third. Maddie, are you ready? I, I had a different shirt, though. Maddie, come out. Yeah, OK, that's good. I'm not, I don't like the shirt. You don't? No, because this is competing. At this point, Abby and team Melissa should just travel to competitions on their own, because as it stands right now, we're just kind of the filler in between the Maddie dances. Let me see. Do some steps. I like the back of the shirt. I like the sleeves bouncing. I don't know what it is, but as soon as Abby comes back in town, I seem to get all sorts of flack for any attention that Maddie gets. The Zach number in third seed, Junior Taps. Hello, please welcome Maddie performing You and Me Against the World. starts to come down in the middle of the number. And that kid doesn't miss a beat. She is right on the money the entire routine. That kid was like a pro. I thought all of them looked great. I thought I Kenzie did. is looking so strong. Mm -hmm. And Maddie looked great. Maddie's apron came down, and I looked over at Abby. Abby was laughing. And Abby laughed. I know. When Chloe lost her headband, Christy was, like, murdered. Dead. Oh, my god. It came forward. What did you want me to do? You are in the bar having a drink, and her headpiece is falling off. Like, She's not going to come in here and yell at Melissa. She's not going to, like, be upset with Maddie. Like, she screamed at me. She was angry with Chloe. Like, that's not going to happen with them. It is what it is. Melissa, you are on my last nerve. Amazing job. I was nervous. <laughs> First runner up with a score of 280.7 points. Is Miss Maddie with Act Number 13, You and Me Against the World. Hey, Maddie! That is a joke. And your highest scoring elite junior soloist is Miss Haley with Act Number 10, Pardon My Southern Accent. I am livid. Second? Are you serious? All right, now for our elite junior small group. In third place was Act Number 81, Mannequin. In second place, with a score of 275 points, is act number 88, Rockabelle's Cannon from Ton Marie's. And your highest scoring elite junior small group, with a score of 277.5 points, is act number 86, Gone Too Soon from the Adderley Dance Company. Congratulations to all of our elite junior small groups. The group just won first place, and Abby can't even bother to look up from her phone because she's so upset that Maddie got second place. Oh, oh thank, thank God. God. Thank God that we the won girls the group won. dance. Yeah. I know. Oh, I don't think Abby cares that the girls won. The only thing she cares about well, was Maddie's solo. I feel kind of bad that the girls probably won't get to enjoy their win. So all your kissing ass and doing whatever has paid off. And aren't you glad that you went to LA to make sure that she will protect you? But you don't see when you do things against the group that it hurts our kids. My kids come first to me, and they always will come first to me. I can't say that I'm fed up with Melissa's lying and fakeness because I've always been fed up with Melissa's lying and fakeness, but I think all the other moms in the room are finally fed up with it too. Upset. 
that? Why are you saying this in front of your kids? Because guess what? You do it all the time. You talk about my kid all the time. You said, oh, Maddie's upset. Every time Maddie doesn't win, oh my God, Maddie's upset, Maddie's upset. So don't play the game. She was crying, she was thank you. Oh, whatever. Okay. Screw you. I'm done, I'm so over it. You know what, you're always against me. <sighs> Come on, why don't you tell that, that, that trashy girl to stop. We're leaving. But I walk into the dressing room and Melissa's mad, she's leaving. The other kids aren't even in there. They're all milling around. What is going on with the Abby Lee Dance Company? Come on, girls. You're all sitting here like we have another number. It's over. Get your stuff together. Hey, let's we go. We don't need children. Maddie, please, stop. Melissa, what's going on with you? Tell me what happened. Maddie is fine. Maddie, learn from Chloe or learn from Christy being evil not to cry. You got to save it for the pillow because people like that make it worse. Every time you get knocked down, you fight that much more. And that's what makes you Maddie. You're a survivor. Got it? The moms, they're jealous of Maddie. This is Maddie's time to shine, and they don't understand that. Come over here and give me a hug.